Jasmine, this is Hayes Gardner with the Courier Journal. Um, you're now a first round pick. How does it, how does that sound? How, how does it feel to know that you were a first round pick? I mean, I'm I'm literally so excited. Like I don't know what to feel because it's always been a dream come true for me, and like it's just. It's just unexplainable, honestly. Like I, w I wasn't expecting to go first round, so like to see my name go first round, it's just like it's really a dream come true because I know all the work that I put in during the summer and over these last four years will definitely come, will definitely come now. Hey, Jazz, this is Paulie with Cardinal Couple. First of all, congratulations to you. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, Paul. Just want to ask how it feels to be continuing your career with Kylie Shook, who you've been with for the last couple four years, and also reuniting with Asia Dur. I mean, it's crazy. It's going to be a Car Nation reunion in New York, right? I mean, like it's just it's just, it's just really crazy. It's unexplainable. Like it's, it's no better picture. Like me and Kylie have been together four years straight. And we've grown so tremendously with our relationship off the court and on the court. And then with me and Asia, like, it's just a one-two punch, honestly. Like, we were so close my freshman year. I've learned so much from her. And just to follow following her her footsteps, man, it's just it's just so surreal. Like, I, I can't put it into words, honestly. Hey, Jazz, this is Jackie Powell from High Post Hoops. Um, I'm the Liberty Beat reporter. So what did you feel like when you first woke up this morning, and how did that differ from how you get ready for, let's say, a game? So honestly, I went to sleep. Like, it took me a long time to go to sleep. I went to sleep probably like 2 a.m., and then I got a good little, little bit of sleep until like, probably 7 30 a.m and then like it was just crazy like my heart started racing as soon as I woke up and I was like man like I, I can't go back to sleep like this is really happening right now and it's just a dream come true like I've been dreaming of this moment since I was a little kid and it's just like just to see it come happen it's just so emotional like as soon as I heard my name call I just start crying like I couldn't feel no other emotion emotion other than like happiness and pure joy. And I just started crying. So also um, I heard via head coach Walt Hopkins that, you know, you spoke to him maybe a week or so ago. When you talked to him, what stood out about his vision? Uh, just with him, like he's so down to earth. And like when me and him talked over the phone, it was just like really, really genuine. and. I knew that he had a vision for me and I had a vision and then like it connected right off the bat. And I knew what he was saying with me, what he was saying to me was true. And what I was saying to him was true. And it just like clicked automatically. Like I, I, I honestly trust him hundred percent right now. And I know he's a, he's going to be a great coach, uh, his first time head coaching. And it's just going to be an amazing feeling. So what did he say was his vision for you? Like he he said um, he said he trusts me. He know I could play. He knows I could play both sides of the floor, like offensively and defense, defensively, and know I could guard one, two, and three positionally, and maybe even fours. And I could probably play at the four for him, just so we could spread another team's defense. And knowing that that that's possible, and knowing that I played that position here at Louisville, so here at Louisville it has. It has helped me get ready for the step I'm going to take to the WNBA. And last question for me. So how are you looking forward to making an impact in a city that is a haven for social justice and community philanthropy? So I'm, I'm a real big person on community service. I love doing community service. I, I think everything of it, like I, I put my, I put everybody else before myself, no matter what. And so it's just being out in the community, in, in the community, I think I would thrive in that. I'm that type of person. I love being around people. I love, I love just, you know, being a people person and, and making this, making, putting a smile on other people's face. So it's just doing community service is just a natural to me, like I do here at Louisville.
Wonderful. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Dan's going 12th overall. Was that, was that a little bit of a, of a surprise for you to be able to go that high and be a first round pick? Or did you kind of feel like that could be a spot for you? So I had, I had two feelings in between. So at first I'm like, okay, I know personally I'm a first, I'm a first round type of talent person, player. And knowing that what the coaches and all the teams I've talked to, knowing that, okay, second round may be where I'm at. Okay, I know that it could probably happen then. So I, I personally wasn't expecting first round. So when it happened, like, literally, it, it blew my mind. Like, I was so amazed. And, like, it's just, it's just a true testament to what I've done since I was a little kid. And just this moment, just to see it come true, and all the all the time I spent in the gym, it's just like it's it's crazy. Like I'm getting emotional right now just thinking about it, man. You about to make me cry right now. <laughs> Jazz, you're teaming up with some other players that you faced in the ACC. Obviously, Jocelyn Willoughby, Lana Oldham. Also, some others you've played against, too, in the past, like Sabrina Onescu, for example. Let's talk about the teammates that you'll be joining when this gets underway. So I, I've, I've been with, like, oh, my God, I'm getting emotional because <laughs> of the question just before. So, like, tears coming to my eyes right now. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. So, like, I've been with Kali for four years, so I know what, what Kali can bring to the table every single night and every single practice. So I'm just so proud of her. Like I, I've called, I called her and she didn't even know what was going on. She was like, why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? And I'm like, Kylie, you just got picked. You just got picked. And then she looked at the TV and it happened. <laughs> so I was just so excited for Kylie. Like I know what she would bring to the table. And with Asia, I mean, Asia Dirt name speaks for itself. She's a great player, a great person off the court. And she cares more about her teammates than herself. She's just that humble, and she she appreciates everything that has been given to her, just like I do and just like Kylie do. Do you think there's going to be a lot of people's birthday jerseys at the U of L games next season? Oh, hold on. Say it again. I, can, I couldn't even hear you. Repeat that, Andrew. Uh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, absolutely. How many New York Liberty jerseys will there be at U of L basketball games next year? How many New York Liberty games I expect to be at U of L basketball next year? How many New York Liberty jerseys, jerseys do you think you'll see at Louisville games next year? Oh, I expect a lot, honestly. <laughs> I mean, with Asia, myself, and Kylie, I mean, I expect a lot. Uh, right along with Maisha, man, you can't you can't forget about Maisha at the at the Washington Mystics. Come on, like we, like we're us four is like the last two years and the last three years to happen. So like coronation is going to be supporting no matter what. Anything else for jazz? Um, jazz yeah. if you're going to just talk about the four years that you've spent here at Louisville, some of your memories, some of your experiences, some of the things you'll never forget. I mean, I'll just never forget the most important time was in the locker room, not the games, not the practices, just the moment we spent in the locker room with each other as a team. You know, it could be conversations. It could be hyping each other up. It could be turning up before a game. Just those moments we spent in the locker room, those are the moments you are never forget whatsoever. Uh, Nick, I've got one more. Jazz, this is Danielle from The Athletic. Uh, I know you got to join uh, your coaches and some of your teammates on a Zoom call a little bit after you got picked. What was it like being able to, you know, see them and, and share this experience with them, even if it was just virtually? I mean, it was amazing. Um, I know that me, Yaya, E, and Dana are here in Louisville, and we've been working out with each other every single day and we've been in quarantine with each other. So just knowing I got to celebrate that moment with them. I know Yaya is going to have a great career overseas, no matter what, because she's a great player. Dana, next year, top five pick, I promise you. I'll, I'll, I'll bet that no matter what, because Dana is just a great player. And E, in the next two years, 
it's going to be tremendous, man. I mean, like, Louisville women's basketball team is just the, the top of the top. And I don't, I don't know why nobody would why nobody would go anywhere else but here to University of Louisville because Coach Walls and his staff, Coach Purcell, Coach Norman, Coach JP has done a tremendous job with everybody. The guards, the post, down to watching film with Coach B and our strength and conditioning coach. Like we have put in so much work and I know the University of Louisville was never steer, steer us wrong and we will always go far. Anything else for Jazz? Jazz, congratulations. You've made me smile a lot over the last three years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Hey, Nick, I appreciate you so much, but you never told me how to do that virtual background, how to get a, a, a <laughs> background to my picture, man. Well, 